What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another good one for you. Angel has arrived. So let's see what we've got going on here. Let's check it out. Now tuning into the encounter culture. <laughs> As promised today, we're taking a look at Angel. So let's see what we've got going on here. All right, taking a look at the packaging, of course. Angel looks really good here. This is a figure that I've certainly been waiting for an upgrade to that Toy Biz version. Uh, I don't even have the complete Toy Biz version anymore because I gutted it to kitbash a more modern looking angel. Uh, but I am absolutely glad to be adding this to the display, getting rid of all of that. All right, so it looks good. Could use some more things though. I could definitely use a few more alternate heads and hand options. Um, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Great X-Men logo, Marvel's Angel. You got an X on the top. Flip it to the side. There's a great image of Angel there. Flip it to the back. You get to see it in a little bit more glory right back here, right? Marvel Legends series. So the high-flying angel assists in the fight against Dark Phoenix and other threats to the X-Men using his wings to take the battles to the sky. So there you go. All right, that's good. Like that. You got some important information down at the bottom. Flip it to the side. There is another image and uh, I guess some additional information down there. Again, I did get this figure early from my guy Denna Toys on Whatnot. So if you are over there, feel free to hit that guy up. He does get a lot of stuff a lot earlier. But let's get him out of the box. Fresh out of the box, a figure that I, I said already that I'm excited to add to the collection. It's a good looking figure. It's got some uh, good weight to it. Joints seem to be pretty good, not gummy or anything like that. So first impressions are pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting a little bit more into it to go through the wings and everything. But first impressions are pretty good. And, and I am looking forward to how this is going to display. I think it'll display very nicely. But let's get a closer look at this and uh, see what we've got going on. For the figure himself, so I would say... As far as the head sculpts go, this is going to be the one I prefer for my display. I I will tell you right now, I am not a fan of this head sculpt. It's just like a very goofy looking smile. A screaming, open mouth, yelling, whatever type of head would have been good. I like this. It's more of a stoic sort of expression. You know, simple, but certainly better than this one in my opinion. But let me know if you like the other one down in the comments below. That's cool. I mean, just like I always say, display how you want to display. But uh, having a third option would have been good in this case. Think about like Archangel. We got, uh, I don't know what, four heads with that figure. So three wouldn't have been too crazy to ask for with Angel. Just to give another option. But uh, clean looking face on this one see a little uh, white paint chipping, so I'm curious where that's coming from. But uh, yeah, clean looking face on this one. So I will certainly be displaying uh, with this head sculpt here. Everything looks nice, nice crisp red. The halo looks really clean on the chest there. So probably something that you might be concerned about coming out of the box, whether that's gonna you know wipe off or scratch off or whatever. But it does look pretty clean there, so I'm um, here for it so hey uh for the articulation your head's gonna go down basically all the way i mean it can't go any further than that you do get uh pretty awkward situation in the neck because of it but it will go up all the way and flying poses that's that's pretty good right you definitely want a lot of range for your people in flight a little bit of rock side to side of course it will go all the way around my head's definitely a little loose on this figure i don't know if that's going to be something with all of them but uh definitely a little bit loose on this one of course we are in a modified uh, body here so parts of vulcan we don't have the butterflies though um i know a lot of people are like wow why didn't we get the butterflies but you can see how close these portholes are 
I just, I don't know that it would have been all that feasible to uh, have both. Sure, you, you can. I, I'm not arguing it, but uh, I think for this company and what they do, this is as good as it's going to get, and it's not that bad. I mean, it, it looks really nice. I personally don't care if I have the butterflies in there. It, it's gonna He's going to go in a flight pose, and, and that's about it. So um, you do get all that range there arm will go up to about there of course you have the upper bicep cut double jointed pinless elbows so you do have that there but of course his elbows i don't know it's just a weird i don't know what the deal is you know with this but it definitely is a little bit of a weird look uh another issue with these arms on this buck it always has this cut here, but you'd never have anything there. So it's definitely an area that could be articulated, but it's not. And then you do have your hinge and typical range at the wrist. Basic ab crunch. You'll get a pretty decent gap when you push it back. And then uh, you'll get a pretty decent gap in the back as well. Waist swivel pretty typical so I think people would probably like to see a little bit more in here different uh, ab crunch a little bit something a little bit more dynamic than your basic ab crunch and waist swivel but uh, I'll be I'll be okay you know I'll survive all right leg kicks out to about there and uh, back to about there but we'll go out to right around there upper thigh cut double jointed pinless at the knee see that there boot cut and then your hinge typical swivel down at the ankle there you'll see like I'm getting a lot of white paint flex I'm not seeing anywhere where it's chipping off at the moment uh, I would assume yeah probably like up in here will be your main area that causes any of that and maybe like in the ab crunch but uh, definitely seeing some white flakes here and there. And then there is your alternate head and alternate hands. The head, I mean, the head's not bad in and of itself, but I just, I don't know. It's not doing it for me, uh, for what I would like to display in my collection. And, you know, to each your own, as I said earlier, uh, I just, I just feel like there were probably better choices. Vulcan hands continue to be a little bit too large. Uh, they just seem very big for these bodies. So I'm sure we have a million hands to choose from. So maybe there were other options for the hands as well. Uh, I'll dig through the crate, see if I have anything that might be a little bit better size wise. But uh, yeah, I, it just, I mean, it looks so large. For the wings, so you see it is three pieces here, so you can get a, a nice spread out there on your wings. Everything is on a little disc there. You have your plug on a simple hinge, so you can rotate that around. And then these just port right into the holes in the back, so just kind of sits right in there. And it feels pretty good. I mean, there's there's not any concern that it's going to fall out. So we'll say that's good. Nice and secure feeling for uh, for those. Having the wings like that with the options does give you a, a lot as far as how you're going to display. I mean, you can come in, bring them short, take them out, you know, nice and wide. So you do have a lot of playability as far as the wings go. You know, you want to take them up. head lean back you certainly have a good amount to work with for those wings just as a quick preview of the wing difference so these are your wings from your toy biz angel of course i told you previously in the video that i had gutted mine out for fodder uh, to create a different version of angel um, and then here are your new wings so definitely you know 
they have some wash on here, so that's not completely plain, um, but definitely not quite to detail as these previous wings were. These still look really good, though. I, uh, I'm not really seeing a lot to complain about with these wings. For your size comparison, I do have them backed up against Archangel. That made the most sense, right? Wanted to see how those two would compare size to side. Um, obviously, with Archangel being on the Bucky cap and the Angel being on Vulcan for the most part, there's going to be a bit of a height disparity. Not super noticeable. I mean, you can see Angel's a little bit taller than Archangel, as you would assume he would be. Um, one thing I did want to say, like, they obviously changed the way the wings attach on the Angel figure instead of going with the apparatus like they have on the back of Archangel. And I really think the port system that they've used for Angel is much better than uh, having that sort of, like, single port in the back for Archangel. Realizing that the Bucks played a lot of uh, factor into that, but... Uh, yeah, it gives you a good idea. They're pretty close in height, close enough. I don't know how you're going to display these. These are in two separate displays for me, so that really doesn't matter all that much. And I wanted to try a head swap here just to see how that would look. Uh, I do think that this, this fits actually quite nicely on there. It's not loose at all. Maybe sits a little high, but not terribly noticeable. Um, so if anybody is looking at that, I think that that actually works out quite nicely. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. There is your Angel from Marvel Legends. This is a figure I've been looking forward to. It was a day one pre-order for me. Absolutely. Did it live up to that expectation? I would say for the most part, yes. There were a couple of things that could have been a little bit better. I would have liked to have seen different uh, face sculpt options. I would have probably liked to not have that option at all. Uh, some more appropriately sized hands would have been good. But from an aesthetic standpoint, this is absolutely on point for me. It will hit the mark that I need in my display, so I'm certainly happy to add it. Uh, for those of you holding out for the blue suit, totally understand that. But uh, I, I think this is worth the pickup for sure. Nice looking figure. It's going to look good in the display. Stay tuned to the end of the video for the picture of that. Of course, you can always find me on these socials here. But don't forget to hit that like and subscribe below. And until next time, take it easy. I've been